Hello, this is your friend Gwen, and I am so glad that you are here today to hang out with me as we create some Mail It Monday Happy Mail. So I am kind of in a rush to get this out because I want to catch my postman before he darts off. So this is going to be a very, very quick uh, review of some of the things that we covered in the previous video mail it Monday video um, and happy mail video so if you haven't seen that please uh, check the um, box below and I'll have a link for that one um, but for now just kind of just to review our list um, I created a list I'm now going to do Latasha's uh, so decided on a color scheme so this is the card that I'm going to send to her and you see it's got the golds, the purples, kind of the peachy colors on that so I do have that and um, then pick some stickers, magazine cutouts, ephemeras, tickets, um, you know uh, those kinds of things. I do have, let's see, some stickers that I will, that I just cut out just to save time here and not take your time to do that. I just cut them out. I don't know how they're going to go, but they just kind of matched. Um, also, let me just put this down here. Uh, choose a washi. So these are some of the washi tapes that um, I'm looking to use here. Um, may have some doodles. Probably don't have time for that today. I am going to address uh, the envelope probably with this Dollar Tree stencil. We'll see how that goes, um, and then we'll move on to add the stamps and see what we're going to add um, into the envelope. I haven't decided on that either, so I'm going to put that aside, and we will get started. So um, today is um, Mail It Monday. I'm not sure who started that hashtag, but I love it because it makes it so easy for me to remember. Um, you know that this is the day that I am going to be uh, putting you know mail and sending it to you know just give people a a smile that's what I, I think of it as is, you know just to give um, someone a smile when they open their mailbox um, so they're not getting just uh, the normal bills and problems and uh, advertisements and things that you really don't want I mean I know you need your bills and things like that but you know you don't really want them right so I'm gonna lay down this multicolor uh, purple purplish toned washi tape then let's see I will add some of this gold because uh, the card has the gold in it so let me just move that see if we can put part of that in there so see all the gold leaves and flowers and everything so I do want to put uh, some of the gold there and I will get this cut so um you know I if you were with me on the last video we did a uh, mail it Monday and I have that one going out to my mom and I just wondered who did you did you uh, send out some mail are you going to send out some mail today it's not too late we still have time um, post office in the United in most of the US typically doesn't close until after five so we still got some time to get something out so that um, I don't know friend family uh, co-worker your postal worker maybe even do something nice for them um, one of the things that we're trying to do here um, in the US I know I am anyway is to save our post office I want to make sure that uh, my mail can uh, travel around quickly and cheaply because I love receiving mail and I love sending mail what about you okay so I think I put enough washi tape down. <laughs> I just picked that out. Like I said, I had no plan. We are doing this together. 
because I'm trying to do it in a hurry to get um, get it out to the uh, mailbox. And so when it, this could uh, show you just how quickly it can be. I have a little sticker that says just peachy. I'm going to put that up there. I typically put my address on the back of the envelope. Um, these are um, Hallmark uh, Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree brand, the uh, Heartline Hallmark. And they're two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. Um, it makes it really budget friendly to um, budget friendly to you know send some happy mail out uh, let's see what else am I going to put in here I am going to add a couple of stars I like that I did not have you know many I didn't, I didn't have butterflies. I don't know why I don't have butterflies. I have butterfly stencils, but I knew that I just wasn't going to have time to do that because I'm trying to get this out in the next, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes. Uh, let's see. I had another star someplace. Okay, star's gone. We're not going to use the star then. Um, let's see. And also, I wanted to put this here. And it says, I think of you and smile. And I do. This is... Um, just a wonderful lady that um, has just meant so much to our family. Um, she helps my mom. Um, she's actually the uh, property manager on my mom's senior community. And she is just such a lovely person. Just just a lovely person. So um, I like to send her some, some happy meal uh, when I can. When I you know think about it and um, this says I think of you and smile so I'm going to put a little peach exclamation point there just to add some emphasis and let's see oh not having that other star is going to bother me I, I need things in threes I'm I'm kind of uh, I don't know what do you call it visually having you know everything in threes kind of makes the eye just a little no nope, I'm gonna put that right here where I will put her name across there um, I am going to pause this video and find my other star one moment okay Sorry about that. As soon as I turned it off, I saw it. Here it is. Right here. Yeah, things just look better in threes. Uh, visually, you know, photographers do that. Artists uh, are aware of that as well. Just make your eye just a little bit. Okay, so. Here we go. We're going to do that. Then, let's go on and place use a ruler and a pencil just a Dollar Tree ruler Dollar Tree pencil and I'm going to create just some lines to keep um, let's see like this three and a half can I do that I can indeed okay just to give myself some um, space to keep my my text a little a little straight. Um, I am not necessarily the best at that, but I find that having just some really light lines helps keep um, keep my text straight. You know the address box just a little straighter than it would than. You know if I try to freehand this so just gonna add some light lines and grab a stencil and see if I can fit oh uh, let's see nope 
no stencil stupid not gonna fit all the letters of her name so guess what's going to have to happen we are going to have to try to freehand this i know i know it's it's a scary thought for me too it is truly a scary thought because i do not have a great handwriting i really don't but since we're in a hurry and the whole point is to be able to do this in a hurry let's let's get right to it find my black pens and let me just show you this though because i think this is one of the greatest finds that i have come across on amazon and i really try to share it with everyone this you get 18 color pens and these are the ink joy pens the paper made ink joy pens that are you know smooth ink everything 18 of them for two dollars and 97 cents I, I would not kid you on that so um i'll put the link in the description box below and let's see if i can get her name Okay, uh, man, I'm going to take some, some lessons on how to letter, some lettering lessons. If you guys have any videos that you recommend for lettering um, lessons, you know, tutorials on, on how to learn how to letter, please send that to me because that is something I really need to do. But um, I love how the envelope came out. I really, oh no, 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 we have, we have to finish that. I am going to put also a line here just to give that border at the top. Just a little finish, just a little finish. Oh yeah, much better, don't you think? What do you think? With or without the border at the top, let me know. I think it looks much better. Okay, so now we're going to do a quick little update of this card. Um, so let's see, we'll use the peach washi at the bottom. So um, as I uh, create cards, what I try to do is uh, since these cards from Dollar Tree, which I think are a fantastic bargain, um, I really appreciate them having, you know, such a, a, you know, such a low price point on these cards. Um, but I do try to just give them just a little bit more uh, oomph, if, if you know what I mean. You know, just, just give it a little bit more oomph, a little bit more pizzazz. So I do um, add some uh, color and texture to the inner portion of the envelope. Now, um, it doesn't take a lot. Um, I do leave quite a bit of room for um, the actual writing, um, the message, typically when I have um, more time, you know, because I like to write, I like to ask, how are you? Let me tell you how I'm doing. Let me tell you about my dog. I have a six-year-old pit bull, and of course, I have to tell you all about my dog, um, who right now is not feeling so well and has to go to the vet. Um, and you know, I, you know, I would, uh, I have to tell you all. Of, I have to tell her all about this. So I need all of this space in my uh, my card just to be able to tell you all about that and ask all the questions I want to know. How are you? What you're doing? What, you, what are you um, watching on television? What are you reading? Let me tell you what I think is cool. Right now, I am reading Super Attractor by Gabrielle Bernstein, and it is phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, so if you are looking for a good book to read, do it. It really is. As a matter of fact, I'll put the link um, 
below to that in the description box because it is really a good um, book in that it, it encourages you to uh, see things more positively and to really um, not look on the bright side, but to think positive, to, to bring more positive things to you. And I think it, it's just a phenomenal book. So I'm working on it. As you can see, I haven't finished it. I still have a lot to, lot to do. Um, but I, it's definitely worth the read. If you're looking for something good as you're starting off this fall season and something that you want to get just, you know, cozy up with the book, I recommend it. It's really good. And then, um... You know, she has all of these, uh, like, um, what do you call them? Cards that you can, um, you know, positive affirmations and positive sayings and things like that. I, I really think she, she's done a good job. So I'm going to check more of those out as well. I am going to put a sentiment in here since I don't have much time to write um, as much as I normally would. So kindness changes things. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to also, no, I'm going to put that here. And I think, I think that is it. I think that's what we're going to do for today. I am going to just, uh, write a few things in it, jot down a few thoughts, sign it, and get this into the mail. So in less than 30 minutes from now, oh, one more thing. Let's make sure and check that I've done everything that I said. So um, she's on my list. I decided on the color scheme, pick the stickers. We choose the washi tape. I'm not going to doodle because I um, uh, just don't have time. I did use my stencil, add fun stamps for postage. And I do have um, these Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny postage stamps that I got as a gift. Let's see if we have something in here kind of purple. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of, it's pink, but close enough. So we will add that here. Oh, yeah, that's so cute. Come on. Come on. So cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, and then um, on my list, it's goodies are completely optional. So I am going to put just a couple of things in there, a couple of cards, um, put some tea, and send her a little heart sticker. I'm just collecting things that I have here on my desk right now. So this will be in the mail. Within the next 30 minutes, you can start your timer for the countdown. Anyway, I really appreciate you being here with me as I get this heavy mail out today, trying to beat my postman. Um, check the link. I'm going to have um, a playlist of the Mail It Mondays. Um, I also have, of course, uh, the series that we just finished, which was the seven... Um, uh, seven plan with me's that we did with the one Dollar Tree sticker book so that I'll put the link below as well and now we are working on our Christmas and holiday trashy junk journal so please subscribe and um, share and I really appreciate you see you next time this is your friend Gwen bye